holy salute to all you do for the Lord. Holy salute to the Holy Club. I'm feeling led to uh, do three Bible verses. I believe one's in Mark, one's in Matthew, one's in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. If I remember correctly. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. We need to pray in these times. The Lord is revealing some powerful stuff. Heavenly Father, I praise you, God. I thank you for all you do for us, every believer. Heavenly Father, Lord, I ask you to be with us tonight. As we search the scriptures, Lord, reveal it to us. Open it up to us, Master. Open up our minds, our ears, Lord, our mouths, our eyes, our heart to you and your revelation, God. Use us mightily as vessels, God, and pour into us and pour us out, God, and use us. Increase us in knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from on high by the power of the Holy Ghost. I give you praise, glory, and honor. Amen and amen. I've been thinking today all day long as I've been working um, end times, end times, end times, end times. The Lord's been telling me to go back through my prophecies and go back through what I've written down and to go back through what I've dreamed and saw and visions and, and, and the things that he's told me through the interpretation of tongues and things that, he's, uh, that he has in this word of God and, and uh, so many other ways that he's spoken to me and, and communicated with me, signs and wonders and, and in the heaven and signals. But let's go to the Word of God. Let's go to the Word of God. Go with me Let's go to Matthew chapter 10 verse 39. It says, "He that findeth his life shall lose it." And he that loses his life for my name's sake, for my sake shall find it. Now, this is not a video of, of uh, we're going to go through the tribulation. The tribulation has begun. We're going to lose our life and get our heads chopped off. And, oh, there ain't no hope for us. I ain't. We're not talking about that. We're discussing scripture. And this time period in which we are in right now, the church doors are closed. Consider this in the season we're in. He that findeth his life shall lose it. So me, I'm a person. I'm a Christian. Oh, we ain't going to church today. So I'm forsaking Christ. I'm forsaking, you know, um, my duties as a Christian, worshiping him, and I find my life. Oh, this is who I used to be. I remember this, and I've lost my life. He that loses his life for my sake shall find it. I have given everything up. I've sold everything that I've owned. My old self is gone. The old has passed away. And I now see my calling of who I really am and what I was supposed to be. All along. Go with me to Second Thessalonians chapter two. Now we beseech you, verse one. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering, gathering together unto Him. See, there's a church gathering. That ye be not soon shaken in mind, or troubled neither by spirit nor word nor letter, as from us as the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means. That includes the government and includes Nancy Pelosi, Donald Trump, this woman too. Remember, women want to be in, in, in implied in everything. So when it says man, it's talking more man too. Amen. This is talking to every person. So we're not just talking about uh, uh, a man or um 
and this includes people with uh, operations of change. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Everybody, let no man or no person or no human deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And that that man of sin, the son of perdition, be revealed. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. That man. Now it goes on to say a son of perdition. So we know it's a man. It's talking about a man-man. All right, now go with me to Matthew chapter 24, verse 13. It says, He that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Here I am in the midst of everything, wondering, should I be like every other, should I be like every other uh, preacher? Should I be like every other pastor? Should I be like every other church and all the others? Am, am I been making a fool of myself? Um, no, the Lord told me to keep my doors open. And, and people are saying, oh, it's because it's a small church. Or, oh, it's because uh, you don't have faith that he'll get a paycheck. Or Listen, you don't know the operations of our church. Actually, I, I would still get paid. Actually, you know, there's a ways of figuring that out. We're not worried about that. I'm worrying about feeding my sheep. I'm worrying about uh, falling away. I'm worried about the flock scattering. I'm worried about a false prophet or teacher getting them and pulling them in. I'm, I'm you know, false teacher, false preacher, whoever, you know. So uh, God's going to keep it all together. And I'm going to endure until the end. And the same shall be saved. Amen. I'm not going to fall away. I'm not going to go find my life. I'm not going to come out of church. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to close up the church doors. Amen. Sometimes I consider. Sometimes I want to. But that's my wants. That's my needs. That's not what God has told me. He said keep the doors open. And he's going to keep blessing the people. And he's going to keep pouring out his spirit. And he's going to keep preaching and teaching. And he's going to keep doing the messages in the church. Oh, he could do that if the doors are closed or not. Well, yeah, he could. But you can't lay hands on people uh, through the camera. You know, I could try to pray for you from here. You know, um, you can't speak in tongues and I interpret it from here. Or if you're in the car speaking in tongues, I can't hear you in from the parking lot if I'm on the steps of the, you know. I mean, there's some things that, that just we have to consider, you know, as the church. And uh, let God lead us and stop this uh, fault finding. Look, if you followed man, you can correct it. If you find yourself in a predicament where you can't open your church back up, there's no law saying you can't open your church back up. God says, let us gather. It says in the first uh, amendment that we have the right to gather. Uh, actually, the laws of, of, of the land is against them saying we can't gather in America. Actually, the word of God says we can you know, from the government of God. So you have two governments saying we can, and you're saying, telling yourself and convincing yourself you're doing right, saying you can't. Well, you're going to have to stand before God, and I will too. And we're just going to have to take it at that and do the things that some people feel was right, some people think is right or I don't know what however God deals with you if you, if you can't hear his voice uh, I don't know I don't know what else to say but he that shall endure to the end the same shall be saved keep enduring keep looking up the time is at hand don't fall away from God don't follow the ways of the world 
Don't listen to every voice in the world. Uh, let us hear one voice and one sound from heaven. Amen. Holy salute to the Holy Club. Keep looking up. The time is at hand. If you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, now is the acceptable time. It's not appointed unto us the wrath of God. Praise God, the children of God. It's not appointed unto us the wrath of God. Choose you this day who you will serve. For me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. We will ever preach the gospel. We will ever give him praise. We will ever give him some glory and honor. Glory be to God. There's a lot of persecution going on in the world. And there's some of it's uh, spiritual. And a lot of it's... um. You know, every persecution is spiritual, but I'm talking about emotional and uh, feelings, feelings, feelings hurt. But I'm sensing a lot of strife and bitterness right now. Right now, I'm sensing a lot of strife and bitterness. Don't know where it's coming from, who it's coming from, what direction. But we have to have this right here right. Make sure it's right. Amen. The Holy Ghost discerns, discerner of spirits. Get saved, get your heart to the Lord, give your heart to the Lord. If you know the Lord, I'm happy for you. I'm, I'm truly happy for you. And if you know him, get to know him more. Be blessed, be encouraged. Get saved. Get saved. Give, give your heart to Jesus. Amen. Time is winding down. It's running out. It's, it's, time is at hand.